So if we look at this room to see where the best place is to build a den, we need to think about where the fireworks are going to be happening, and that's outside. So we need to be as far away as possible from the windows to outside um, and make it in a nice quiet corner of the room. And in this room, the best place is over in this corner here. Now you'll notice there's a door next door um, with the glass panes in, so it's not ideal, but we could that evening cover it over with a blanket um, to try and mask some of the firework lights and sounds. And also it's the room where the family's going to be during the night, and they're probably hopefully going to be listening to the television as well to keep down the noise of the fireworks outside. Dogs, when they're frightened about something, will seek somewhere to go that they feel safe and secure. So we want to make sure the den is provided for them, which they know is the place that they're going to be safe and secure in. So we need to get them used to it um, earlier on before fireworks start. So we're going to use a puppy crate for this just to make it nice and enclosed. It doesn't have to be a puppy crate. It can be where, whatever um, is appropriate for what you have um, and where the space is. It can just be if it's behind a sofa, just draping over lots of blankets over there to make it more enclosed and dark and, and quiet and comfortable for them. So we're going to use Stanley's bed because that's what he's used to and it smells of him and he's used to it. But also we're going to then add some blankets over the top to make it nice and dark and secure um, but also to help muffle out some of the sounds of the fireworks. So then we want to leave the door open so that he knows that it's, he can get in and out whenever is, is um, necessary um, and feel, just feel safe and secure that that's their spot and they're, they're okay in there. And to help your dog get used to using the den you can always use the adaptor spray also. So all you need to do is just add some sprays to the bedding and then leave 15 minutes before you um, introduce your dog to the den just to let any um, smells from the alcohol evaporate away. So we've built the den and we've made that nice and comfortable for your dog um, but what else do we need to think about on the night? The first important thing to do is make sure we've taken our dog for a walk earlier on in the evening before it gets dark and there's any chance of any fireworks going off. So we need to make sure all the doors are shut and the windows and any cat flaps that you have to make sure your cats stay inside with you and then we need to shut the curtains. So we shut the curtains in this room but we've also got a glass door so what we're going to do is cover it over with a sheet to muffle any of the sights and sounds of the fireworks. So we've already sprayed the bed with adapter as you've seen, um, but to also to help your dog get used to using the space, you can use some treats and play toys um, in there. And also I'm going to use today a chew toy. So we've been out for a walk, we shut the doors and curtains um, and we've got Stanley quite happy in his den. So all that we need to do now is spend some time with Stanley during the fireworks and sit and listen to some nice music. We know that using Adaptil helps dogs with cope with worrying or challenging situations, which fireworks nights can be. So plugging in an Adaptil diffuser a couple of weeks beforehand, very close to the den, helps them have that pheromone support. An Adaptil is just a synthetic copy of the natural pheromone a mother will release two to three days after giving birth to her puppies. And the idea is that these puppies then are comforted and supported by her presence. And Adaptil has exactly the same effect on our adult dogs as well as puppies that you may have in your home. Stanley's got on an Adaptil collar, which you can see here. So it's just another way of supplying the Adaptil pheromone. And all you need to do is fit it around his neck so it's nice and snug, so it's close to the skin, so that it warms up and releases the pheromone around him. And it works just the same way as the Adaptil diffuser was, but it just is providing Adaptil support on your dog all the time that he's wearing it. So ideally, before fireworks comes, um, a couple of weeks beforehand, pop an Adaptil collar on, and it's doing the job for you as well as an Adaptil diffuser would. It's best to use the adaptal collar or diffuser a couple of weeks before fireworks is expected to happen because it gives a chance for the pheromone to help your dog relax 
and be more able to cope with fireworks when it occurs. However, if it's getting closer to fireworks night and you haven't been able to start using them, then don't worry, you can still use the collar and that takes half an hour or so to warm up and start releasing the pheromone or you can use the spray directly onto your bedding, just making sure you're leaving 15 minutes between spraying the bedding um, and having your dog go there in the den. We've talked a lot about how to help your dogs on fireworks night, but as mentioned earlier, don't forget cats. Once they've come in for the evening, shut that cat flap and make sure they've got all the things they need inside. A litter tray, some food, some water, and most importantly, they'll have their favourite spot that they like to hide or sleep in. And it's best just often to leave them there because they cope so much better on their own. If you have more than one cat, you may find that this changing routine can be quite stressful for them. And in this situation, Fellaway can really help them cope with the changing routine and having to share the space inside with each other. Thanks for listening. I hope this has really helped you to understand how we can help our dogs and cats during the fireworks season. And I want to wish you a happy and safe fireworks season. If you want to have any further information, please look at the Adapter or Fellaway websites where there's a wealth of information waiting for you.